The Gosai Tree by Bill Martin Jr. and John R. Shambolt, illustrated by Ted Rand. One dark and windy autumn night, when the sun had long gone down, Mama asked my sister and me to take the road to the end of town to get a bucket of milk. Ooh, I dreaded to go. I dreaded the tree. Why does Mama always choose me when the night is so dark and the mine runs free? Come on, Freddy Cat, my sister said. Don't hang back. I'm not hanging back, I said. I'm getting my hat. You're a dumb hat, my sister said. It's too big for you. It makes you look stupid. Well, you don't have to wear it, I said. No, but I have to look at it, my sister said. Then look the other way, I said. Ooh, how dark it was. How dread it was, walking the road to the end of town for the halfway tree. The Gosai tree was feared by all, the great and the small, who walked the road to the end of town. What's the matter now, my sister said. My hat, I said. It slipped off. You're afraid, that's what, my sister said. I am not, I said. I'm getting my hat. As we neared the tree, our walk slowed down, halfway down to the end of town, hiding what we feared the most, pretending there would be no ghost, pretending not to be afraid. There's nothing to fear, my sister said. There's nothing here but an old oak tree. No, there's nothing here, I said. There's nothing to fear in an old oak tree. But we ran past the tree as fast as we could. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. We felt so good that we started to sing. There's no such thing as a ghost. There's no such thing as a ghost. It's only a dream, my sister said. It's only a foolie inside your head. There's nothing to dread in an old oak tree. I pulled my hat down over one eye to look tough, like Mike Barber in the movies. I'm tough. Real tough. What? My sister said. I didn't say anything, I said. You did too, my sister said. You were muttering to yourself. I was not, I said. Then push up your hat, my sister said. You look stupid. Oh, how glad were we, how free to be, walking the road to the end of town, for the halfway tree, the go-side tree. My sister and I had passed it by, and the road led down to the end of town, where we got the bucket of milk. That's a fine hat you got, said Mr. Cowlander, the milkman. I smiled. T'would make a good milk bucket, said Mr. Cowlander. My sister laughed. I didn't. Nobody's going to put milk in my hat, I said to myself. What? said Mr. Cowlander. I didn't say anything, I said. Yes, you did, my sister said. You were muttering again, Mr. Cowlander. That hat makes him crazy. It's a crazy hat. Well, come on, I said. Help me carry the milk. First I carried, then my sister carried, walking home from the end of town. We couldn't walk fast. The milk slowed us down, walking home from the end of town. Oh, how dark. Oh, how dread. Hurry up, my sister said. We're halfway home. Oh, what's that, I said. I didn't hear anything, my sister said. But I heard something, I said. I really heard it. Let's go back to Mr. Cowlander's. No, no, my sister said. There's nothing here. There's nothing to fear. Oh, why does Mama always choose me when the night is so dark and the mine runs free? Oh, look, look, the halfway tree, the ghost-eye tree, turned his head and looked at me. Oh, the halfway tree, the ghost-eye tree, shook its arms and reached for me. Yeah! Oh, oh, we ran. My sister and I, oh, how we ran. We ran all the way home as fast as we could. We set the bucket down, flopped on the ground, gasping for breath. Oh, my sister said, I was so scared. Me too, I said. I saw the ghost, did you? Yes, my sister said. Don't tell mama, she'll worry. But she'll know, I said. We spilt a lot of milk. That doesn't matter, my sister said. I'll put some water in the bucket. She'll never know the difference. Say, 
Where's your hat? Oh, my hat? I lost it, I said. I lost it. Where? My sister said. Back there, I said. But by, by the Gosai tree. Oh, my sister said. But it don't matter, I said. Yes, it does matter, my sister said. No, I said. It makes me look stupid. It does not, my sister said. It's a beautiful hat. Come on, let's go. Let's go get it. No, I said. It don't matter. Really, it don't matter. Up she jumped, that sister of mine, and took to the road that led through the town to the halfway tree, the gosai tree, where my hat lay fallen on the haunted ground. Ellie, Ellie, come back, I cried. Gosai will get you. He's right by your side. But faster than foolies that flashed through your mind, Ellie came back, leaving Gosai behind. Here's your dumb hat, my sister said. Makes you look stupid. Does not, I said. It's a beautiful hat. I put it on my head, pulled it down over one eye to look tough, like Mike Barber. I'm tough, I said to myself. Real tough. I ain't afraid of no ghosts. But... Since that dread night at the halfway tree where Gosai tried to frighten me, by some lucky chance I'm never around when Mama wants milk from the end of town. The End